What's up world? Ranger Redneck coming at you again from the beautiful back hills of western Pennsylvania. You know what really pisses me off? This fucking thing. First of all, thanks to whoever the fuck made it, just been blowing up my damn news feed for the past month and a half, doing nothing but causing arguments everywhere. Let me answer that question for you. No. Now, like, if you need to use my phone to make a phone call or something, that's one thing. But these people who, like, think you should fucking provide your phone unlocked on fucking demand so they can just go digging through it. There's something wrong with them fucking people. What really pisses me off is the arguments that are for this. People sit there and they're like, oh, well, if you're in a relationship, you trust someone. There should be no secrets. How about if you're in a relationship, you should trust the person that you're with? I'm so sick of this provide proof on demand bullshit. You know, well, if the police want to look through your vehicle, you should let them if you have nothing to hide. If I want to look through your phone and you have nothing to hide, you shouldn't have a problem with it. That's fucking bullshit. We still have our civil liberties. What you people don't understand is everyone you see walking around on this fucking planet are people born with their own free will, with their own minds, with their own type of conscience, with their own type of guardian angel, with whatever bullshit you want to call it, with their own fucking agenda. If you are in some sort of relationship and you feel that you need to look through the other person's phone and dig through, like look through all, I want to see who you're texting. I want to see what they're saying. I want to look through your messenger on Facebook. I want to see who your friends are. If you find yourself in that spot, just fucking leave. Because if you find yourself in that spot, there's only one of two fucking reasons for it. Either A, that person did something that really, really, really raised your suspicion. Or B, you have serious fucking trust issues. Now, in either case, you are in an unhealthy relationship, okay? If you have trusted, well, I've been through so many bad relationships in my life. I don't give a fuck. Was that person one of your bad relationships? No. They are their own fucking person. You know what? People say it all the time, like, well, don't compare me to your ex. Stop bringing up your ex. Well, you theoretically are bringing up every one of your fucking exes, your shitty relationship, your bad fucking relationship with your parents, whatever the fuck it is, every time you try pulling some stupid bullshit like that. And now back to A, um, if you do think that that person did something, just fucking leave them because you know what? It's regardless whether they did or not. Once you get to that point in your own head of thinking that somebody else is, is doing something that they shouldn't be or or whatever, the trust is just gone, regardless if they even did anything or not, they might just be collateral damage from all the bullshit you got rolling around inside of your own fucking head, but once you get them to that point in your mind, and you view them that way, it's fucking over, just fucking leave, everybody's so obsessed with having this fucking fairy tale fucking life, and this one true love, and this one true fucking fairy tale fucking Cinderella ending, you know, I want to see Cinderella part two, you know, Cinderella's ass don't look so good in that fucking ball gown no more. Her hips are all blown up from having fucking nine kids. Prince Charming comes fucking home at four in the morning on his fucking motorcycle drunk. Did you know that there are over seven billion people on earth right now? And you're stuck on one. Well, I've been in five serious relationships in my life and every one of them has cheated on me. What's five out of seven billion? Here's a fun-filled activity for all you jerks. Go get a box or a coffee can. Go to your local hardware store. I want you to buy one three-eighths coarse thread bolt. Drop it in a coffee can. Then buy ten fine thread three-eighths nuts. Drop them in there and then buy one coarse thread 3 8 nut and drop it in there. Let me know how long it takes without looking in that fucking bucket to find the fucking nut that fits on the bolt. It's a lot like a relationship when you really think about it. I mean, you can't just rip the fucking damn coffee can open and fuck, oh, there it is. You know, that's what you're expecting to do by this shit. You know, people want, when people look at someone now in a relationship, they don't look at them for what they are. They look at them for what they want them to be. You know, like, oh, well, you know, what if you find a fuck, ladies, what if you find a fucking guy and he's perfect, everything's perfect, looks, walks, talks, eats, shoots, and shits, like the perfect all-American redneck you wanted your whole life. One little hiccup, like, 
he's addicted to strippers or some shit. Or guys, if you're looking for a fucking girl and she has everything, the right fucking, the right mindset, she sure she prefers 30 odd six over 308 or whatever the fuck it is that gets you off and perfect ass and all that shit. And everything's fucking great. But she won't stop talking to her ex-boyfriend. Most people would agree that two-thirds is a winning vote. But you'll sit there and you'll find someone that's fucking picture perfect for you. And out of your 9,000 fucking opinions, one of them doesn't match. And you're going to sit there and ruin that poor bastard or that poor bitch's life over that one fucking opinion. You need to start looking at people as how you would work with them, not how they're going to fucking work with you. You get what I'm fucking saying here? Quit being so fucking hard on other people. Quit being so goddamn nosy. Like, what, what are you doing going to... Who's his email from? Email. What are you writing my fucking autobiography? Get a fucking life. So, if you're in a relationship with someone and you want to know what's in their phone, why don't you try asking that person? And if you ask them and you don't believe them, just fucking leave them. You're just going to torture yourself and you're going to torture them. That, that's really the fucking bottom line of the whole fucking thing. Um, it, if you don't trust that person that you have to know every last little text message that they've fucking sent, or you need to dissect every fucking picture or email or whatever, um, it, you're in the wrong fucking relationship, or you have some serious fucking issues of your own if, there, if it's not on the other fucking person. But of course, if you're watching this and you... You agree with that fucking picture, chances are you're just always going to think it's with the other person. You're never going to fucking grow as a human being, and you're just going to suck for the rest of your life and ruin every relationship that you're ever going to fucking have the opportunity of having. Well, cheating isn't always physical. Once you're deleting text messages and things like that and clearing your GPS history, then you're already there. <laughs> you really think that? You and me have two very different opinions on Earth, on life in general, on the creation of the fucking... <laughs> Don't date anyone from this half of the fucking solar system. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, well, who are you talking to? S someone I know? Oh, well, what are you talking about? If they wanted you to know, they'd have texted you. Get over yourself. Keep your children and your guns close. Save the hate mail, because I don't give a fuck.